let's talk about the second kind of force uh, and this force will be a contact force it's called normal force or normal reaction let's consider this situation in which a block is kept on a table now let's see what kind of forces are acting on the block one of the force on this block is of course the force due to gravity that we have talked a moment back so if we if we isolate this block from the whole system and just draw the block and just think of what are the forces acting on this block then one of the force we have already identified is mg this is the force due to gravity the earth is pulling this block downward and uh, the, the block is not going downward so there must be some force that is preventing the block from moving downward and that must be the force from the table the earth is pulling it but still it's not coming down because the surface of the earth is hard enough to stop the block and that surface must be exerting some force on the block in upward direction and that reaction that that when what happens when the earth pulls the block downward the block presses the table and due to that pressing there is a backward reaction by the table the block presses the table the table presses the block upward and the in turn it exerts some force on the block and that force will be vertically upward because the pressing is vertically downward because earth pull is vertically downward right so the there is another force which is acting upward which has to be equal in magnitude to the gravitational pull so if you look at the net external force as it, the term appears in newton's first law net external force will be zero and that's why the block continues to be in the state of rest because it is not there is no net external force that is being applied on the block so this force between the contact of the block and the table this is called normal force this is one example of a normal force and this is a kind of contact force this is the force because of molecular interactions at the molecular level the molecules of the block would be pressing the molecules of the table and due to that molecular interaction there will be some repulsion at the molecular level it's a kind of electromagnetic force will not be going into the molecular discussion but on a macro level there will be some reaction by the table and it will be vertically upward perpendicular to the surface of contact so that kind of force is called normal reaction that is going to balance the gravitational pull and if you look at an isolated force vector on the block they are going to cancel each other and due to the equilibrium that we are observing n should be equal to mg so that there is no net external force acting on the block so this is this kind of force is called normal force we also call it normal reaction similarly if there's a block kept and suppose we are applying some force by our hand and this block starts to move in horizontal direction now let's see why this block starts to move in horizontal direction previously it was at rest newton's first law says that a block will not move unless there's some net external force now the block is moving that means there is some net external force and of course our hand is applying some force on the block the block is moving in this direction that means the force applied must be in this direction if you look at the vector diagram of forces on the block there must be a force in this direction and that force of course is applied by our hand so the there should be some force applied on our hand to by the block because if the surface is slippery we tend to slip because there is some force acting on our hand from the block and we tend to slip because there on us there is a net amount of force acting on left hand side and if there is no friction on the ground we will actually slip so there is some force acting on our hand perpendicular to the contact and there is some force acting on the block perpendicular to the contact as well so this is called normal reaction which always acts normal to the plane of contact Similarly, if we have a wedge, if we have a triangular wedge like this, this is a solid body having an inclined plane, something like this. 
there will be a solid body and this is a plane inclined this inclined plane like this we are looking at the side view of this and there's a block kept whose surface is parallel to the surface of the wedge now in this case if we have to analyze what kind of forces is are acting on the block which is kept on the wedge let's isolate that block and think now one of the force always will be gravitational force earth is pulling everything to its its core all the time so one of the force is vertically downward which is mg the other force will be due to contact contact between the block and the wedge that contact force in this case is normal reaction normal reaction is always normal to the surface perpendicular normal in physics means perpendicular normal to the surface it will be acting perpendicular to the surface now this is the surface of contact so the force will be perpendicular and if this angle of wedge is theta then this angle that the normal will make with the vertical that will also be theta that comes from simple geometry i'm going to show you once but you should for the, from the next time you should be able to figure that one out yourself this is 90 degree this is 90 minus theta if we extend the normal the line of normal force backwards this whole thing is 90 degree because it is normal is perpendicular to the surface so this angle is theta this is theta 90 90 minus theta this whole angle is 90 so this is theta again this is vertically opposite angle so this is theta so the angle which the normal is making with vertical is theta so th there are two forces that we can figure out immediately is mg and n and the angle of the normal reaction with vertical is theta so if there is no friction these are the only two forces acting on the block so listen what we are going to do we are going to study equilibrium of an object later a moment ahead after we see all the kind of common forces so we are trying to study the forces and after that what we will we will try and examine whether the particular body is in equilibrium condition or not so for that purpose we are trying to look at what are the possible forces acting on the block so in this case there are two forces mg and normal reaction and you should also know the direction of the forces in order to figure out whether the object will be in equilibrium or not so in this case can you can you think of whether the block would be in equilibrium condition or not okay we'll do it later now we are trying to identify forces now let's also consider another condition suppose there are two blocks kept side by side and you have pressed the two block together and then you have released it now let's talk about the forces which are acting on a smaller block let's isolate that smaller block and look at the forces one of the force always will, will be mg mg will be pulling it downward it is not coming downward that means there is some normal reaction from the surface upward the magnitude of that will be equal to mg so it is not going anywhere in vertical direction now it is not going anywhere in horizontal direction as well now let's think about this contact this contact is providing some normal reaction upward let's look at this contact between the two blocks now this con there is some contact and there is a chances of contact force in form of normal reaction now let's see if there at all will be a normal reaction between these two blocks what do you think in which direction there will be normal reaction acting on a smaller block left side or right side think if we think the uh, force normal reaction on a smaller block to be on right hand side then what would happen there is net external force acting on right hand side because there is no other force to balance that we have not considered any friction here we are not talking about friction now and even if there would have been friction it will not act i'll tell you the reason why later but in this case if the normal reaction is on right hand side uh, then there is no force to balance it on the left hand side so the block will start to move on the right hand side because it is no more in equilibrium because there is some net external force as per newton's first law it will not remain in equilibrium in, in the same state of motion it will it will no, no more remain at rest because there is some net external force on right hand side because it is an equilibrium that means there has to be no external force 
So that means there is no normal reaction. It cannot be either on left or right. Because if it is at all there, in whichever direction, in that direction, the block will start to move. But the fact that it is not moving, that means there is no normal reaction in horizontal direction. Okay, so the, there is no normal reaction in this contact. Because, you know, even how hard you press them and leave, when you leave, they will be in the relaxed state. There is no stress in this contact. On this contact, there is a stress because Mg is pulling it. So there's a stress, there will be some molecular interaction and there will be some repulsion. So there will be some normal reaction. In this case, there is no stress. So there will be no normal reaction. Okay. Okay. Now let's consider this. So this is the floor, this is the wall and there is a ladder or a stick kept like this so let's analyze what are the forces acting on that stick we are talking about a normal reaction now let's forget for mg for the time being let's focus on the normal reaction now there are two contacts so there are chances of two normal reaction at one at each contact in this contact the normal reaction i told you normal in physics means perpendicular Normal reaction is a perpendicular force. It is acting always and always perpendicular to the extended body. 